Hey everyone, Pam here. I am getting ready to go on an art quest with Cinnamon Cooney, the art Sherpa, as my guide. And um, what's really fun, I had bought this set of level three, I think they're level three paints, um, around the Black Friday weekend-ish, I think. Um, I think it was then. But anyway, it was recent. And um, with the intent of wanting to learn how to paint in 2016. And um, and then I saw Cinnamon Cooney's Art Quest class coming up. And it's so perfect. So I'm really, really excited, excited to be jumping on board with that. And a lot of these colors were on her list. I did go shopping to buy some supplemental colors that were on the list that weren't in this set. And of course, I got these at Michael and I Michael's and I used a 50% off coupon at on a day when I was okay with spending a little bit of money. These weren't cheap, but um, I thought it was worth the investment because I want to love the process and um, I know you can use the craft paints, but anyway, I did want to experiment and learn uh, the, uh, the different qualities of these better paints. I've always wanted to do that. And um, so anyway, anyway, so I got golden mainly so that I could try the difference between these two brands. I know when I've used the Liquitex Basics, compared to some of the craft paints I love the way they feel on paper and um, I mean all the Liquitex basics I could just touch those pages all day but um, so I'm <laughs> wondering how these are going to feel by comparison so uh, I, I bought uh, oh here I, I was buying the brushes individually well a brush I bought individually and, I don't know, this one here is really, really soft. But, um, and then I was talking to the manager in the art department at Hobby Lobby. He's an amazing, amazing artist. And so he knows this stuff. He knows about it. And so we were talking and I told him what I was doing. And he suggested that I go with, you know, one of these mixed... Uh, packages so he helped he I showed him the list he helped me we're not it's not 100% some one of these brushes may be off by you know a fraction of an inch I hope it doesn't make a big difference I'll find out uh, in cinnamon's class but um, anyway so there's my new supplies and then this one is great I mean I didn't Luckily, I was shopping with my girlfriend one day when I was looking for supplies, and I th thought it was just a like a watercolor pad, an acrylic pad, but actually it's a canvas pad, which is different. Uh, I guess these are primed, and they're canvas instead of paper. So I had had this one on hand. I got this, oh, I want to say it was like 2000. 7, 2008, when I got this, I got this in a trade for labor. I helped some ladies clean their house uh, and get ready for uh, a move out. They were, uh, well, actually, they were going to sell their house, and they needed help because they were kind of living like hoarders. And uh, I got five station wagon loads full of fabric and I was actually able to wash all the fabric before it came into my house while I was cleaning so it was just an amazing trade but there were some art supplies in there as well and this was one of them and you can tell I never even opened up the package so I have this and then I was looking all over and I got this at Hobby Lobby for only $10.99 with the 40% off coupon. Here's my cup that I'm going to use for brushes, my water cup, and um, it's 
I, I thought I had another cup that was just really so amazing and I was looking all over for it and then I realized I had broken it. So, uh, but I had this one up in my cupboard and it was kind of tucked back. So now I get to bring it to life. It's beautiful Mexican pottery cup that I'm gonna use for my water cup. Okay, so I'm really excited. I think I've got everything that I need to get started. This is um, the assignment, pre-instruction baseline assignment. Um, to to paint these pears and Cinnamon had um, provided a link and I'm going to provide a link to her class series that I'm on and uh, it's all free it's going to be amazing the information she shares is amazing anyway but she's going to take us beginners um, through an amazing journey. I'm just looking forward to it. I don't know what all it's going to entail, but it's going to, I'm going to learn a lot this year and I'm looking forward to it. So, um, nine by seven um, piece. And so, um, and it's, it's that kind of canvas on a board. This was one of those Dollar Tree finds. Uh, I did add some gesso to it. Where's my? I added some gesso, and uh, this is my little tabletop uh, easel. And um, I got this. This is funny. I didn't have to buy it. You can tell it's well used. This is the first time I've ever done anything painting on an easel. I'm used to doing just tabletop, but um, I got this. I right after I bought my house I purchased a storage the contents of a storage unit it was a small one I think it was like a five by eight and uh, I had bought it with the intention of selling the contents but I kept most of it <laughs> so it was the care and feeding of my inner hoarder <laughs> but anyway this was in it and um, there were no paints or anything, but there were a couple of easels, and this was one of them. So uh, what a blessing, and it's already got some, some nice paints in the background. So um, so see all of this adding up to where I am right now. All right, so the, the paint...
a lot this year. But ta-da, there's my pears. All right, thanks so much, and I hope you'll do follow my journey. And if you want to learn how to paint, come and join us with Cinnamon Cooney and her big art quest. All right, bye for now.